get a hell yeah? What, what, can I get a hell yeah? What, what, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah, what, hell yeah, hell yeah And I know it ain't right, and I know it ain't right, and I know you should be Anyway, this is, a, this is an advice podcast, we give advice Really? Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, you didn't even tell us that. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of makes sense to go into the... Uh, how the hell do I make friends? Oh, shit. Hey, all. After I, uh, male 21, split away from my friend group around two years ago, I've been practically been unable to make any new friends. I recently started s- studying psychology, and though I enjoy the classes, I've been mostly unable to make connections with others. Somehow, people aren't attracted to me at all. Every time I have a conversation with someone, through Instagram, for example, the conversation completely dies out whenever I don't message first. I've tried joining several Discord servers to play games with people, but no luck either. I feel like I'm just missing something, but I have no idea what. Um, How how does this guy make fucking friends, dude? All my friends were handed to me. From school or circumstance. You haven't made any new friends. You made friends up here. Here? Yeah. In Sacramento that aren't comics? I mean, they're still friends. Yeah. Yeah, but how? I don't actually hang out with anybody outside of comedy. On, like, <clears throat> not on purpose. But a lot just... of doing comedy is hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Which so it's like a, it's a weird line that's of like between work, work mm-hmm. and casual. So this guy needs to find that. He needs to find a hobby. He needs to go out and do things with other people. Yeah. He needs to get into fighting. He should just fight people. But try rock climbing. Or rock cli- or fighting people at the rock climbing. He should try being funny and charismatic. Yeah, a little bit of charisma goes a long way these days. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he he was studying psychology, that's boring. Yeah. Also in here it says that none of the no one's no one's attracted to him. Maybe you stop trying to fuck people. You know, once you stop, looking, <laughs> you know, maybe you don't need they don't need to be attracted to you. Once you stop looking for that, it'll come. It's weird. Yeah, I feel like if you're just waiting for people to come to you, then nothing's ever gonna change. Yeah. Uh, so I say, find your local underground fighting ring. Every every town has one. Yeah. Sacramento has one. Modesto has one. Oh, for sure. Turlock has one. Fresno has one. San Francisco has one. <laughs> Oakland has one. Richmond has one. Uh, Nebraska Unincorporated has one. areas probably have. Mm-hmm. Go there. And just start fighting. And start f- if you don't have one, you can start one. You can only start one. And then that way, you're inviting people to your thing. And that's very cool. Yes. That's very cool. People, you're a business owner now? People love invites. Have you ever been invited to something? I, yeah, I have. It's amazing. Usually on Facebook. It's such a rush. Yeah. Even if I don't want to go to that thing, just the invite is it's top notch. I get I get anxiety when people invite me places. You get anxiety? Yeah. Because then it's like, oh man, I have to like plan for something else, or I need yeah. I now I have to like fix my schedule or something. That's I guess that's everyone's a little different. Me personally, I fuck I love an invite. It makes me yeah, feel yeah. In, invited. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What is invited to do something you don't want to do? I still like. I'd rather get invited to something I didn't want to do than not be invited to something I did not want to do. Yeah, because like it makes you feel loved and, and yeah, like you're, you're part of that. It's like a big hug, you know. You're right. That's yeah. why I, I try not to invite you places. You don't want to give him a hug. Are you talking to Mike or me? No, I'm talking to you. I'm <laughs> talking to David Rodriguez. He looked, he looked you right in the eyes. But he pointed at you. No. I guess it's general direction. I can't tell. But yeah, man, uh, join uh, something that you've always thought about doing. Join, like, a club. I'm sure wherever you live, there's, like, a club or, like, a community. And fucking just keep going even though you don't want to. And you got to put yourself out there. and you Get into gardening. Oh, uh, don't do that. That's a joy. That. We yeah. see, dude, play him in garden. Yeah, Mexicans who have to. <laughs> ah, dude, there's a, a usually old white dude's garden. Yeah. yeah. Nothing's wrong with that, bro. Making the, a little bit of cabbage. I've don't never seen an old white. Oh, like a farmer, you mean? A farmer or just a local. Some guy who's just in his backyard. Some raised beds, dude. I've never seen an old man do that. Though. No? An old white man, especially. I've never... Well, You've you, never seen an old white man garden? You like in his backyard? No. <laughs> you need to peek over a lot more fences. <laughs> <laughs> you need to snoop around the area a little bit. 
Because let me tell you, these these old white men, they be gardening. What type of, what are they doing? What are they growing out there? Oh, well, it's seasonal. Peppers. They got, they got peppers for sure. Your Anaheims, your jalapenos, your habaneros. And they got radishes, carrots. They love radishes. Um, weed is becoming a big thing. Where? Everywhere. People. Yeah, the whole world. Every, this, I don't know if you've heard this thing. This thing called marijuana. <laughs> I have. People are smoking it. But it's not as big as you think, right? I big. feel like it's really, really big. And it's like, if you actually just talk to people, it's crazy how many people smoke. Yeah. Mike, you smoke? Me? No. Don't smoke weed. Yeah, because no, I fucking, don't. I, I wouldn't. I yeah, you good, do. I have a good relationship with God. Not on podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, a, lot, a lot of people are starting to grow their own weed. You can do it. Yeah. And, and this person can do that too. Start growing weed, start selling the weed, become a drug dealer. That way, people are coming to you for drugs. Oh, dude. Automatic dude. friends. I, I was gonna the say, best friend is a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if you want people to hang out with you a lot, just be good at growing weed or like having weed on you. Yeah, because, have weed. But don't, I don't know. I have a friend named Daniel who smokes a lot of weed. And he like the makes tall his, guy? Yeah. yeah. He makes like edibles, like cookies and yeah. shit. Yeah. And like he brings them to parties and like the women, they flock them. I bet they do that. Well, that's a, a Man, he's tall, treat. too, I guess. So I don't know. You know what they say? Weed, it's a gateway to friendship. Yeah. yeah. And then soon, you get the weed for a little bit and maybe do that for half a year, known as the weed guy. Then you bring out the fentanyl. Oh, shit. Okay? And you really get him hooked on every single word. Single yeah. word. Yeah, because when you're on fentanyl, you can't really pay attention to anything else. Yeah. But what your fentanyl dealer tells you. And they, they can't get away either. You, they do a little fentanyl in their apartment. They can't walk out of there. <laughs> okay. Can I use this pillow? You can use that pillow. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. Use any pillow you want. Thanks. Can I use your bedroom pillow? No. <laughs> you're Come right. On. You can't use any pillow you want. Oh, yeah. What? What? Can I get a hell yeah? What? What? Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What? And I know it ain't right, and I know it ain't right, and I know you shouldn't take this advice, but make sure you really drunk when you drive and walk on some glass with no shoes on and